I saw someone do this the other day and I thought, that's really clever. So anytime you're writing a destructive query, like an update, for example, where we want to change someone's username in the users table and set it to John. Now this may be exactly what you want in your database, but if we click run right now, we will update every single user in our database to the same username. And so when you're writing this kind of destructive query, you're writing the destructive bit up front and then only specifying the where clause or the filter at the very end of our statement. So instead, I like to remove all of the destructive bits and make this a select statement. And if we can remember how to write some very basic SQL, we can see the result set that this is going to match before we do anything destructive. If we're sure these are the rows that we want to update, then we can start with this filter and write the destructive bit as the very last thing we write. So we can feel much more confident, not just in the SQL that we're writing, but also keeping our job another day.